Hey, what's up everyone? It's DW back at it. Today I'm gonna to be giving you a video of the conversion I did to my garage into my air conditioned studio and new 3D print hub. I'm also gonna give you a glimpse in some of the new printers I got and some of the updates I have from the lightning storm I had a couple weeks ago. It's in today's video, it's coming up next. All right, what's up everyone? Back at it again. It is DW Darkwing Dad. You can't tell, I have done some upgrades uh, to my garage. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how I did the conversion of my garage to my new studio. Initially, uh, I wanted to get a shed and convert that to a whole workshop studio. Just right now, uh, money's a little bit tight especially with the whole lightning storm situation that's going on. The insurance is really, uh, <laughs> is really jerking us around here. Well, duh. So we did this conversion um, a little bit over two months ago. A little bit of a mess right now. I kind of wanted to show you guys my process. So without any further ado, let's get to ripping this thing apart and getting some AC in here. So let's go. Sir, put up out here that's all mounted in place but obviously I've got to run the lines from there and I am not dealing with electricity when it's wet so until this rain passes this is about all I got done so far Just got done running the electric down to the box here. And then from there to here, you see me wire that up. Here's the refrigerant line uh, that's ran to the inside. That will finally cool my garage. So now what we have to do is pull a vacuum on this to pull the Freon from the condenser into the unit. So I'm gonna grab all that and get that set up. All right, I'm pulling the vacuum right now. What this is gonna do is make sure that there's no leaks. Uh, I'm gonna let this run for about 30 minutes. Uh, it's in the negatives, which is what we want. Pulling all the air out, and if it holds this negative reading here, it means we're good. It means we've got no leaking. Everything's nice and sealed. After that, we'll be able to disperse the Freon and test this thing out. All right, so as you can see, this is the uh, the garage now. A uh, big difference from before and after. We did have it a lot cleaner. Um, however, you can see all of the broken things, minus the pretzels <laughs> and the yoga ball, uh, the broken things that we've had to kind of keep aside uh, from the insurance company. This was just some of the stuff uh, that was damaged uh, in the storm. Obviously, my wife has taken over my table, which a printer will go there eventually, but she's putting her workout stuff there. Wolverine's chilling there. Uh, we'll have that video up probably in about a week or so. He's looking pretty awesome. Cool little setup here. This main area here is gonna be doing all the new demonstration. Originally, I wanted to have the work shed. Um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get as big of a one as I wanted, so this kind of works out great. And obviously, a multitask. Uh, wife can come in here and work out. The kids can come in here and play. 
um it stays nice and cool in here now this garage if you guys remember when i was doing some of my uh i think it was the war machine am i glossy because that was freaking hot um helmet that i was doing i mean i was just dripping sweat i mean this thing was an absolute sauna i just turned this on and it already dropped it down to uh, 83, which seems warm, but I mean, I literally turned it on five minutes ago. Got a broken garage door because the lightning fried that. Now, speaking of the lightning, so some of the replacements, CR10 Max, CR6 Max, I'm gonna have some build videos on those, uh, some reviews. I also have a CR10S Pro that I just ordered. Uh, that's a replacement. So you know, I got some new printers uh, that I need to set up. So this is going to be, like I said, kind of uh, my print hub slash studio uh, for now. It also makes a nice accessory room. We got TV in here so we can have family time. Channel is Darkwing Dad, so I still do dad things. See, we still got Funko Pops over here. We got a box of Funkos in the corner. Still doing Funko Friday. Um, so there's still things that we do out here uh, that are not just 3D printed related. I guess all things happen for a reason. So this uh, whole lightning strike thing really kind of pushed me to finish this up, get this going and uh, work with what I got. But you can see uh, I have some spare tables here where printers can go. So I'm gonna be using every single one of them. Uh, a lot of cool ideas I have for the channel. And this is just another step in uh, pushing me to drive towards full content creation. Really should be a, a cool change of pace. You know, it gives me a break away from the noise. I can come in here, close the door, get my recording done, hopefully get you guys more videos even sooner. So wanted to show you guys this video. Uh, look forward to some new videos here with this new studio. A lot of cool videos for you. This will definitely help. If you like the video and you like the look of the new studio, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Uh, go ahead and drop me a comment and let me know what you think. Um, if any of you are DIYers and you need help with installing a mini split, uh, go ahead and drop me a comment. Um, like I said, this was a install I did by myself. I did get one of the pre-charged units. Um, I'll leave the link in the description. That way, if any of you guys want to uh, do something like this, um, humidity can be a real mother. And if you don't invest in those dry boxes or 3D print enclosures, it can definitely affect the filament. So doing something like this, uh, putting a mini split in here, it'll suck all that moisture out. Uh, it'll keep it nice and cool. Uh, adequate ambient temps uh, for printers to operate at, which is really my most important thing. Again, this is gonna be trial and error too. That way, if you guys um, ever wanna do this conversion in your living space, you can always reach out to me and say, hey man, I know you put a mini split in, are your printers printing okay? And I'll make sure to give you guys updates as we go along, but wanted to show you this video, wanted to show you the conversion. Um, it's a little bit chaotic in here. Eventually this will come full circle. All this junk will be gone here. And obviously look for these future videos. I will be putting all these printers together probably in the next week or two. I'll probably get the CR10S Pro put up first just because that's the smaller one. Um, these other uh, printers here I'm gonna mess with a little bit before we really get into reviews and doing all that and everything so it's floating around behind me here there he is wolverine i'm doing the build video and then uh, my cool little music videos i guess you call them uh, i just think it's cool to give you some different footage and display some of the songs that that i like in in these builds uh, it just gives a little bit of character to, to who i am this is music anything better than like seeing a cool 3D print or really anything come together from beginning to end uh, with some awesome music in the background. So that's kind of why I put those videos together. So be on the lookout for that. Wolverine is coming soon. That's it for now, guys. I am gonna get moving on to the next project. If you have any questions, comments, drop me a comment and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. And until next time, see the studio in full swing. For now, it's DW out. Later.